Hey, welcome to CNT Collectibles. I am C. Hope you're doing well today. And today we're going to do a little bit of mail day, a bunch of stuff that I've picked up over the past couple of weeks to show you uh, what I'm buying. Um, maybe it uh, gives you a few ideas, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But <laughs> it's a filler video at least until I can pin Tommy down to do a uh, do a football video. Hopefully we get that done tonight. So let's get to it. Um, got a lot of stuff over here, so we'll just... Uh, I'll show you that I'm putting my money where my mouth is at uh, at times here. I'm started off whenever I can with a charred Chad. So uh, this is a uh, a black etching. I don't know if this is officially licensed or someone just did this on their own, but they did a really really cool job with it. I'm I'm impressed. And so they uh, they etched this into some metal and. Uh, you know, anything I can do to add uh, something new to my Charred Chad collection is always uh, a good deal. So I'll start off with some of the lower stuff here. This is a Carter Kaboom. Um, he's up now and he's hitting a little bit. So, you know, 300 with a, with a handful of home runs over the past month there. And this, this is one of those cards that I didn't have. This is the uh, the 3D version of the update. And it was like $12 shipped. So <laughs> if you're... Uh, if you're really interested in a card of Kaboom, there you go. That's a that's an easy way to get in. Another one of my kind of my speculation guys that um, I was buying in 2018, and it's just recently started to work out. But uh, he's having a terrific uh, year since he got traded to the Brewers. So um, didn't have any of his heritage stuff. So this is uh, Willie Adamas. He uh, probably you know, it's first or second best shortstop in the league since uh, since the trade. He's really been terrific here. Just 25 years old. So again. Um, Purple refractor, then the the silver numbered out to like five sixty nine or something like that. So shot in the dark and you know fifteen bucks for the pair. It's like you know why the why the heck not? So I'll just have a little bit of fun with it. So um, all right. So then a couple image variations. The twenty eighteen Alex Verdugo, uh, another player that I like. He's a terrific hitter. I don't think he's going to light the world on fire or anything like that. He's pretty darn consistent on a uh, on a good team. So again, for, if you're looking for upside, this may not be the uh, May not be the guy or anything like that, but he, he could hang around for a while and, and make some noise. I just personally, I just like him and like collecting his stuff here. So this isn't anything with a uh, huge upside. Um, Ozzy Albies, this is the uh, the headset variation refractor, um, another uh, image variation. So again, um, it's, <laughs> it's some once in a while he gets a he gets a little demand, but I think his long term track is super interesting and another player that I like to collect. Um, Chris Sale didn't have any of his stuff here, and so. Uh, during his rehab, he was looking really sharp in his outings, and he's up now, and he also looks sharp. And again, he could make a little noise in the playoffs here, but this is just a a, a player that I like, and his uh, before his prices started to go nuts, I wanted to get in on something here. So the X-Fractors are one of my favorite variations, and happy to have that one. Carlos Correa, uh, terrific season, really a top 10 bat. And if you look at his numbers over the uh, longer term, I mean, he's really on a – pretty interesting pass so if he's able to you know from here just kind of keep things going and uh you know this you know i think some people will at, at some point people will, will recognize what he's doing i think this is one of the best values on the boards and so this is his uh his image variation as well um and, and these can be had if you get it in the raw and you're a little bit picky i mean you can still get these for 10 15 bucks and uh you know it's some of those uh, short prints of those higher end players go for for more than that so um, some pinks. Pinks are kind of a popular refractor. So uh, Trevor's story seems to be cheap enough. He's pretty much forgotten about not having a, an awesome season or anything like that. But um, you know, over the off season, he's not going back to Colorado and do the Yankees sign him. So it could be a could be worth a bit of a pop. I'm buying a few of his lower. You can get his updates right now for like two bucks or something like that on Star Stock. So. Uh, if you're interested in trading, that might be something that's kind of interesting. But yeah, the the Trevor story, the pink refractor. Um, again, I've a player that I that I enjoy uh, collecting, and again, his prices have gotten cheap enough where it's like, all right, what the heck, just pick up something fun. Um, Cody Bellinger, uh, <laughs> really pretty awful season, but uh, he's hurt, so um, you know the exit velocity is is down. He's not hitting the ball hard. He's putting too many balls in the air. He's chasing balls outside the zone. The strikeout rate is up. He's hurt, and so it's like, well. Can he can he put together? Can he fix it? Can he can he be healthy and get back on track next year? And so with uh, with the way his prices are right now, uh, again, just it's worth a shot for me at least, um, just to say, all right, let's just let's see what happens with him and uh, see if he can right the ship next year. So decent time to get in. Maybe it works out. Maybe it doesn't. And Luba before he uh, came off the injured list, and his prices are you know. They've they've gotten hit hard enough, <laughs> so uh, who who knows uh, what he, what he's able to put together going forward? But the White Sox should make some noise in the playoffs here, and so the pink refractor on Lou Bob as well. I thought that was uh, yeah, at least the time to do it. You know the 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 
pink refractors seem to outpace everything else. So if his cards do start going, then the pinks maybe lead the way just a little bit here. So um, Brett Batty, uh, I don't know a ton about him other than Ride Dog threw his name out. <laughs> and if, you, if, uh, if you're quick enough, you can get in uh, – on some of these higher end ones, cheap before they get the uh, before they get a right dog pop, <laughs> and that if you wait a, if you wait a week or two, then they tend to come back down. But we'll see what if anything comes from that. I think he just got traded to did he get traded to Texas as part of the uh, I don't know. <laughs> so maybe still at the maybe still with the Mets. I don't remember. So all right, uh, Austin Riley had a pretty nice uh, run to start the season or the beginning part of the season. Cooled off for a bit. And, um, you know, we've talked about him a few times here, uh, pointed out his cards for a buck on Starstock, and I think they're at five or six now, but I wanted to get a few of the other variations. This is a short print from the 2019 update set. So um, I like short prints. I like X-Fractors. Um, so these were 30, 30 bucks or something like that. And the, the X-Fractors are numbered in the update set to 199 So um again with the recent hot streak that's pushes prices back up here and i think that what he's doing is pretty darn legit for the most part here and so i uh, thought i'd pick up a little bit more austin riley um saw another one for roughly the same price it's like okay all right well I'll just get two i guess and then a uh, a gold version so uh, if he's able to keep this up atlanta in the playoffs and then next year you know, keep it going again he's young enough that uh, he could be around for a while and, and make some noise here um, Matt Olson got one of these a while ago and there was another one for a less than the first one I got. And so that's the Sapphire and decided what the heck, um, uh, just grab another one. Tommy can have that or something. So, um, Kyle Tucker, love the, uh, elite level player, elite level bad Astros. So you know, there's just the hate built around it and his prices again, as far as massive upside, um, not seen that in the, uh, in the near term at least from him but you know i think longer term he could uh he could really make uh make a name for himself here and he already is for people that are paying attention so i like the 84 style mojos and this is the uh the blue numbered out of um 150 so i've got a couple of the other ones i don't think i'll do the rainbow on it but um i like those cards and they're fun to have in some of the different colors and then his purple chrome autograph i didn't have the chrome autograph version i've got a couple other ones but not the chrome so that's out of 250 and uh, this was off of Com C um, for about half of what I'm seeing on other auction sites. So, you know, whether or not they end at that level, it's like, all right, well, what the heck, let's take a shot on it. So, all right, a couple of graded ones here after this one, of course. Rafi Devers having an awesome season. If you are looking to get into Rafi Devers at this point, um, we'll, we'll look at him on uh, Saturday or whatever for the chart show. But, um, you know, anytime you want a, a player, you can always get the uh, go to the Bowman's Best and get a nice refractor version for a fraction of the price. So these are, you, know, you can get those for under 20 bucks for the most part. So if you like a player and you, you say oh, his, his flagships are getting a little expensive, go check out the Bowman's Best. They're cool looking cards and you can get them for a little bit cheaper. Uh, image variation here. Walking on Dogga, that's the refractor version. So shout out to Steve Speaks. Um, he showed off his Rocky Devers um, rookie card collection. And I think he had the green version of this one. I'm like, I totally forgot about the image variations. <laughs> so uh picked up this one, and that's what led me to I'm like, oh yeah, you know, the Ozzy Albies and the and the Verdugo as well. It's like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about those. So uh thanks for the reminder, bud. All right, get into a few others. Bobichet, his prices really haven't done much as of late, but I think he's just a star already. And so uh this is the Topps Chrome Black. Um, that's the regular refractor out of 199 and uh I, I i don't know that there's a ton of love around these cards i think they're really really cool so you can get his uh, get his rookie for a decent price um yeah i just i'm just a big a boa shot fan if he can stay healthy this will be one of the better shortstops in the league and then i uh, wanted to get his uh sapphire as well so um Heart, you know those boxes are, <laughs> those boxes are kind of crazy and what's the best thing you can get out of the box probably a, you're not even getting you know guaranteed to get a rookie out of those things and so um, to get a boba shot just buy it straight up for what you get a box like all right i'll i'll take that trade uh trade any day i suppose and mookie um you know here's a hall of famer basically so um his chrome is a little bit shorter printed the 2014 set the update chromes were kind of in the back of the holiday packs and so there you didn't get a whole lot of chromes and so this is a little bit harder to find and he doesn't have a ton of rookie cards but that's another one where it's like i think his prices have uh have dropped far enough that we'll just take uh take a shot and we'll wrap it up here with alex bregman who just came off of the uh the il 
um, after being there for a couple of months. And uh, to do what he's doing to start his career, you know, last year with a shortened season injury this year takes him off the uh, that that really nice long term track that he was on. But if there's a player that can get on it very quickly. It is, uh, it is Mr. Bregman, I believe. So um, enjoy picking his stuff up while he's sitting at a, a, a price that we haven't seen since you know before the season started. So again, we'll show you him on Saturday as well. But um, that one is out of, let's see if I can get it there, out of 50. So um, yeah, I hadn't, uh, I didn't have his flagship autograph or anything like that. So again, those prices are down to a, to a level. It's like, all right, what the heck, take a shot on uh, on a guy that could uh, you know really be a star going forward so all right that's what i got for you we'll try and come back with you at uh, some uh, football by tomorrow and chart show saturday and hope you have a great rest of the day thanks for watching take care bye